Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you some cool ways to use the Venetian blinds transition effect. So this effect is actually found in the video effects folder and in the video effects transition folder. So these are different than the video transitions that you just drag in between cuts. These you actually apply onto clips as effects and adjust them in the effects control panel. So I've just got two clips on top of each other, just on two different tracks. Um, one on top of the other and if I use the Venetian blinds transition on the clip on track 2 you'll see in the effects control panel it'll pop up and give us a couple different parameters which is transition completeness, direction, width, and feather. So if I just increase the transition completeness you'll see what the Venetian blinds effect is is like this a bunch of slit blinds that happen however since it is a video effect transition we don't actually have to animate anything if we don't want to. So there's a couple of cool different ways you can use it. For one, if I do something like 50% transition completeness, what we have now is just two video clips kind of interlaced with each other. If I wanted to play that for some kind of cool effect for some reason. And you can also change the direction of that. So you can make it vertical, horizontal, diagonal in whatever degree you want. And also the width. So right now it's just at 20. But if I increase that a lot, I can do these bigger split screen type of effects. If I even increase it a, a, a really a lot, I could do just a basic split screen. However, you know, if you're just doing basic one split, I would just recommend using the linear wipe effect. But as opposed to like a crop or linear wipe, what you can do with this is have multiple kind of split screens going on just by lowering the width a little bit. So we can have these unique type of stripes of video happening. And if you did want to use it like a transition, I could just put one clip going into the next like so and just leave a little bit of overlap in the middle, how, however long I want the transition to be. And then simply go to that point, add a stopwatch icon to add a toggle animation, add a keyframe here and change it from 0% and then go to the end of the clip. And once the clip is finished, increase that transition completeness to 100%. And you'll see what that does is create this Venetian wipe bl or Venetian blinds transition, which is cool. It's like two wipes happening at the same time or many stripes happening at the same time. And another idea that you can do with this is doing another Venetian wipe or something else stacked on top. So if I add this Venetian blinds again, except this time instead of 90 degrees, I could keep it vertical. This is how I could maybe do two things at once. So I could wipe it both vertically and horizontally and in this way create like square blocks. So this is with two Venetian wipes going in opposite directions. We have this cool square transition that happens. So if you're going to use it as a transition, that's a cool way to do it just with these keyframes. If you're just going to keep it um, as a stationary effect to blend two clips, you can do cool different ratios. Uh, I find one way that's really cool is if you just do 50% and just have the width at a certain amount so that you can't tell which one is the clip A and which one is the clip B since they both are taking up even space on the video. But I just wanted to take this time in this video to highlight this cool transition effect, which is the Venetian blinds. If you enjoyed it, check out some of my other effect and transition tutorials and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.